Mm. Take a look at that. Wow. That's something you don't get everywhere. We're still in Quito, and I wanted to talk about a very special drink, dessert, holiday food. I don't know if they have it in uh, Peru, Colombia, or other parts of the Andes, but once a year, which for us was, I guess it was day before yesterday, is All Souls Day, which in Spanish they call Dia de los Difuntos. And it is a national holiday. The place where we're staying at the Airbnb here, the lady made us this stuff, this purple drink. And I since found out it's called Colada Morada. And she made us a lot of Colada Morada. And it's made from a fruit that we don't have in other parts of the world. It's specific to the Andes. It's sometimes called the Andean blueberry, but it's called Mortinho. It has a slight spicy taste to it, and they drink it hot. I drink it hot or cold, but it has strawberries in it, black corn flour, tiny pieces of pineapple, and babaco. Babaco is the fruit, if you recall, it looks just like papaya. In Otavalo, it was growing in our courtyard. And then they mix different spices. One of them was called Ishpingo. And they eat it with something called Wawa, which spelled like guagua, G-U-A, G-U-A. It's a Quechan word that means baby. But what's interesting about the word guava, which again, it's not Spanish, it's Quechin. But in the Canary Islands, which are currently erupting, the volcanoes are causing all kinds of havoc. They call a bus a guava, G-U-A, G-U-A. And again, it's a Quechin word. They make them in the shape of kind of like people and they, they put frosting on it. Mmm. So good. To make it look like little people or babies or something. And it's stuffed with either Martino berries or chocolate. I kind of prefer it with chocolate because you're getting enough Martino berry inside of the colada morada but i'm i'm here to tell you this is really delicious apparently they only eat it once a year but it is very very tasty and you can buy it at the little stores and uh almuerzos just on street corners at this time of year if you have a chance to try it i highly recommend you try it Colada Morada with Wawa. Wawa, even though it's used to mean bus in the Canary Islands and it's a Quechan word, I don't know how that happened. It's also used in Cuba to mean bus. And there might be one or two other places around the world. I don't know if it's a coincidence, like a bus when it goes by, it goes wow, 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 wow. I, I don't know. And I don't know if anybody knows, but this stuff is delicious a little spicy a little sweet it's good warm i like it cold very heavy berry flavor and something i discovered i don't think they do this here but these are called umitas it's spelled like who meet us but they don't pronounce the h umitas it's bread made from corn I guess it's kind of like, it just, it tastes like bread to me. It tastes like cornbread. It's light, it's fluffy. Then along with the wawa or wawa pan, I will use umitas 
too deep into the colada morada. Here's what it looks like when I do that. It's good because the umitas is not sweet. You're not dipping sweet into sweet. You're dipping fluffy, corny flavor. I think the jury's in and uh, it's better with the chocolate stuffed Wawa. You're tasting the berry, a little bit of spice, and then you get that snap of cold pineapple. And the pineapple's diced small in there. There's not a whole bunch of it. Maybe one little piece per spoonful. That's a noisy street, but at least you get, get the real feeling like you're in Quito, right? So check out the Wawa, the inside of the Wawa. That's the Chocolate. I've been using my hands this whole time, but I just thought, <laughs> hey, I'm a modern man. There's such a thing as a fork. And I think it would uh, probably dip a lot easier than uh, my hands, but the last three days I've been using my hands. Delicious. I gotta believe it's healthy. Don't know. This is a, a very particular food. Only in a very particular area of the world. So I don't know if scientists have studied this. I very much doubt it, but I know berries are good for you. And it's delicious. So that's my story about colada morada. If you ever have a chance to try it, do it. You won't regret it. He'll make your heart fart. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the scooter star himself, Dagwood Streets.